this needs to absolutely be on your list. Like, uh, look at my eyes. Absolutely need to be on your list. Like, this is so good. Oh, this is so good. Now, this is about 245, you know. It, it, it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Amber coming to you with the Fray View, coming to you with another video review. And today we are going to get into my top spring fragrances niche edition. So if you're interested in seeing my picks for the spring, just keep watching. Hello, family. Welcome back. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back, family. Hey, and if you're new to this channel, my name is Amber, and on this channel we review fragrances and body care, and we spill simple little tea from here and there, yo sis may go live. But it's okay, just subscribe, give me the thumbs up, comment down below, would love to get to know you and meet you, and hey family, hey, and welcome new family members, okay? And hi, how are you all doing? I hope you all are doing well. I hope you are doing really well. So we're going to get right into it. We are gonna get into my recommendations for the spring. Spring is here, you know, the flowers are blooming, you know, we're showing a little, little uh, shoulder, shoulder show, you know, people got their uh, tummies out. And I'm turning up tonight, okay? <laughs> uh, um, uh, where do you think you're going? I'm going out. And what you wearing? And, and, and living it up, you know. Well, sometimes, I mean, <clears throat> I mean, in the, in the, in the wintertime, I think people were showing their stomachs anyway. It, it just is what it is. Anyway, you know, spring is here, right? We get a little new fashion, you know, we are just happy. Weather's a little bit different. Sometimes you get rain, but all week long, okay, I'm going to give you all my recommendations for the spring and things that are in my collection that I have full bottles of, okay? So, do I like it? I do like it, okay? Everything I'm going to show you, I do like it or I love it, okay? All week long. So, if you're interested, hang out with me this week so we can go over some spring recommendations for our spring wardrobe, okay? Let's get started. So, I have what I would recommend. Have you all heard of this? I have talked about this before, and this is Shea and Blue Watermelon, okay? This, to me, I will say, I'm starting off here because I have um, some of my brothers, some uncles, hey, hey, some male cousins that are like, sis, um, when you gonna talk about us? When, when, when we gonna get some recommendations? It's coming. I have so much content coming for you all, but it is coming, okay? It's on my list to do. I just have to order some samples because I don't know if you all noticed, um, I, I, I'm not a man. I am woman, hear me roar, and numbers too big to ignore. Okay, I, I am a woman. <laughs> I am a woman. So I don't lean more towards masculine scent. Right, I do like a cookie cutter cookie cake. I told you all, not everybody likes, right? You know, they don't like to smell like the cake and the cookie and the ice cream and the uh, melted chocolate. And, and speaking of ice cream, okay, so, Kay Alley, and if you're new to this channel, yo sis go left, just just work with me. I'm gonna get to the point, it's okay, cool. Um, Kay Alley, you must be listening, girl. Hey, Mona, hey, girl, hey, girl. Hey, girl, hey. You must be listening because, honey, I checked the site this morning and we have a little price match. You know, if you all didn't check out my last video, check on the Rolodex. Um, but I was saying that when I went on um, Huda Beauty, Huda, Huda Beauty, sorry, um, um, I saw that the new Kaylee Yum Pistachio um, the price was $145, and I was talking about, hey, like, can we get a price match? Because Sephora was showing $138, and I'm like, uh, Mona, K. Alley, can we get a, uh, price match going on? Because everybody want to price match the world, right? Hotels, we went through all that, right? 
went on the site today. Uh, it's one thirty-eight for a uh, hundred ml. Okay, can we give it up for the one-two uh, price man? Oh! Come on, Mona. One-two for Mona. Okay, she she is listening, or somebody listening, or maybe somebody else said it on a uh, bigger channel. You know, but I'm gonna I'm gonna think it was me that somebody was listening to my channel. Okay, but we got a price match, so I will be ordering directly from the site and not Sephora. No shade on Sephora. But I do want to order directly from the site and get my yum when it comes out. And it is, comes out Monday, March 21st. So when you see this, it's here. Okay, go get your get your bottle. Okay, I'm going to get mine too. I, I might be up for whatever reason. I think I need to be up at 2 o'clock in the morning to be one of the first people to push the button. And it's probably going to be readily available uh, if I just wait until I wake up. To just get the bottle. Anyway, um, but I'm gonna be aligned to get the young because um I want it, you know. We have our opinions. I do want it. I'm gonna spend my coins on it. Anyway, let's go there. Okay, let's go back. This one, watermelon. Um, and I was talking about the men folks. Okay, great. Um, I would say this leans unisex, okay? So my male cousins, brothers. If you don't mind, right, a floral watermelon scent, but something that does, like, give you, like, this male flair, or if women, if my sisters, if you don't mind um, a kind of a masculine unisex flair, fruity, this is going to be right up your alley. You're going to like this. Now, will I say, is this a blind bottle? Uh, blind buy purchase nah. um now the price is pricing is ninety dollars okay so the price is cool you know it's she, she cute she cute price cute ninety dollars but this is not gonna be everybody's jam even though it has watermelon and a fruit note because like I said it kind of definitely gives you that unisex and it gives this man tone and I can't describe it if you smell it you probably understand what I'm telling, you know. Let's go over some of the notes. Let's see if it speaks to us when we talk. Okay. Top notes, we have watermelon, green mandarin. Middle notes, we have green leaf, uh, green tea, and honeysuckle. And the base note, we have vetiver. So maybe it's the vetiver that kind of leans like a little masculine flair a little bit. But this is not a blind buy, but I highly recommend this for spring. When I think of spring, I'm like, ooh, I want some watermelon. I want some cooling. I just want, you know, to smell different. This is a different watermelon, It, but it is it is a different fresh to me, but it is good, okay? Get you a sample. I got this from Lucky Scent, so you can get a sample from Lucky Scent. And after my sample, I was like, oh yeah, full bottle, full bottle wear. But again, I would recommend this for my males as well. So that's just me. Okay, moving on. Next up, we have Sundays. I told you all, I just got this. You all know I've already talked a, a good amount. So are we not going to spend a lot of time on her? You know, but this, I've already got compliments on. When I tell you citrus, y'all know, you know, if you are not new to this channel, or if you've probably seen some of my facial expressions regarding citrus. I'm not always a fan of citrus. It don't always work well for me, okay? I'm trying. But it don't always do what it needs to do for me. But this one is so pretty. And let me give you some of the notes real quick. We have some mandarin orange. We have some neroli, jasmine and sunbuck. We have some cotton candy, okay? We got some white musk. This is so nice. Now, I did get this from Joma Shop. I will actually talk about some of the things I did get from Joma Shop. Um, but I got it at a really good steal. So I don't know if the steal is still stealing on the site. But just look out for it. Because this is a really good one for the spring. Highly, highly, highly recommend you get that. Especially if you are like me and you look at that citrus like, mm, citrus what? Get that. Trust. Moving on. Next up, we have two um, fragrances from the same house. And it's from the 
permanence, okay? So we have Moon Glory. Mm -hmm. Talked about that at time of two. And we got Ying Transformation. Talked about that at time of 20. Okay, so both of these highly recommend if you're getting or you want to get like in the door of niche. And I will say, if I did not mention already, like niche, I, I look, I'm new to the world of niche, okay? I don't got niche up the alley, okay? I am readily trying to get to know her, okay? And when I mean niche, let, let's go back. Okay, well, so check I this out. Though. First of all, you throwing too many big words at me, okay? Now, because I don't understand them, I'm gonna take them as disrespect. Mm -hmm. Watch your mouth. Because some of my family members, they like, sis, what's the difference? And who cares? <laughs> but niche, okay? To me, okay, my description of it is like a house that does not also have like designer wear. Like, um, they like they don't have uh, fashion. They don't have like um pillows or they like something that maybe it, they, maybe they have candles. Like something that is related to fragrance. Like they are an expert in fragrance. What they sell to us is just fragrance. Like that is their. That is their niche, right? That is something designated for them to want to sell. That's my description. I don't even know if that makes sense. But something direct, right? Niche. Something special. Okay, girl, this is special, okay? Uh, Moon Glory. Now, I, my niece, we was in Neiman Marcus, and she said, no, I'm not a fan. Um, that ain't my jam. So, again... Not everything is everybody's jam. This, to me, and then I looked at her like, <laughs> you tripping. <laughs> Girl, this smell good, okay? Um, Now this is uh, a pretty penny. This is like in the mid, mid 200s. So it ain't like, oh, let me just give you my $90 and let me go. Like you won't spend some money on this. Um. But let's get into the notes, you know. Top notes, we have Ylang Ylang. We have some Hawaiian jasmine, some lychees. Middle notes, we have honey, passion flower, orchid, cactus. Base notes, we have Peru, balsam, sandalwood, and hanoki wood. So, this to me, that passion, what is it? Passion flower? Ah. Oh. If, if I if I had like a passion candy or a passion fruit candy, like this is a passion flower, but I kind of like correlated with a passion fruit. Maybe I shouldn't do that because that's not one and the same because it's a flower and a fruit. Mm, okay. Anyway, um, but the Hawaiian jack, like this gives me, you all, very tropical, creamy. Like that creamy in there just made, that why my mouth, that why Grim. Um, and this is an amber floral to me, spring. To me, get your nose on this. I mean, I will not, since my niece was like, uh, absolutely not. You know, don't blind buy this, but get your nose on this. I love this. This is highly recommend this niche. If you are trying to dip your little toe in the in the niche pond, like look at this. Look at this one when you go in there and smell it and see what you think. And I would put it on skin, walk around the store, and then see the vibes. Because that honey note, when you smell it off that, sometimes honey can be too honey-y. And you like sickeningly like heck, heck to the nah. Like, nah, we're not doing that. But give it some time, put it on skin, and then see what you think. Okay, sis? All right. Then I have <laughs> Ying Transformation. I've raved about this. I've talked about her a lot on this channel. Honey, fresh, beautiful, like everything. You need, if you like a fresh scent, if you trying to get your life in the spring, please hit this up. I tested this on um, Scentbird. I've told you all before. It was one of the tester I could get, and it's gone. And I got many compliments. I was in New Orleans, and this was the jam. Please get this. Compliment getter absolutely. Hey. Okay. 
and then and then the notes we got some water notes bergamot grapefruit lemon we have some orchids some rose lang ylang benzoin sandalwood white musk a floral fresh note like and this was this came out in 2019 and we are hollering we like hey girl hey we didn't know we didn't know where you were but now we know really good highly recommend you get this for this one okay yeah. next up we have a uh, woman in gold killian i've talked about her time of 220 okay i did want to say recently i just went to a bridal uh shower i told you all that you know i was invited to a wedding oh you know finally invited to somewhere you know um but i paired this woman in gold with the burberry her elixir I was telling my own self, you smell amazing. I did not get compliments, but I smelled me in the air. Like, maybe nobody just wanted to give me compliments. Oh, actually, no, I cannot say that. When I walked in the door, the groom's mother, she did give me a compliment. That what, yep, she gave me a hug and was like, oh, you smell good. She sure did. This beautiful combination i just had to, i know this is a designer i know i get it yeah. okay got it okay um and i i'm guessing this is a niche uh, girl okay this smells good okay combination added to your collection for the spring this is amazing moving next up i have creed of vendors for her i told you all this was my birthday gift I tell you all the time, put it on your birthday gift list, your wish list gift, so you don't have to always spend your coins, you know? And somebody's like, oh, what should I get you for your birthday? Oh, Creed Event is for her. Oh, what should I get you for Christmas? Creed Event is for her. Even if it's in the winter season, you can pull it out for the spring, you know? Add the things that you, like, really don't want to spend your dollars on, just add it to your wish list for somebody else to purchase it for you, okay? All right, moving on. But Creed Event is for her. This citrus, and I, you know, y'all know, it's another citrus, and y'all know, but this one, she is bougie, okay? She is bougie, and a bougie price, too. This is about $445. Oh, well, there must be a pair of pants in there, too. <laughs> okay, so, no, I didn't want to spend my own money on this, and I'm so thankful I got it for my birthday, but... This is so pretty. Highly recommend. This does so well in the spring. It does not like, it's not a beast mode thing that's going to last. Like it's going to last long, but it's going to sit closer to the skin or just surrounding you, right? You're not, it's not going to meet you at the door and all that type of stuff. But this is so good. S such a quality fragrance. Honestly, highly recommend. So top notes, we have green apple, Bergamot, patchouli, lemon, pink pepper, and violet. Middle notes, we have musk, rose, sandalwood, syrax, black currant, peach, amber, lilac, and ylang ylang. Okay, this is so good. Highly recommend. Get you your nose, your coins, someone else's coins, and get this purchase, okay, for you. Put this on your list for spring. Moving on. Next up, another purchase that I just recently got, which is Fragrance Du Bois, and this is Santal Complet. I've talked about this before on this channel. Honey, this is so good. And normally, this costs about probably $345, somewhere around their dollars. I'll give you $30. $30? All right, then. Five. I got this at a steal for the price of on the house and it was on um I want to say Joma shop I got this from um but this is so good this coconut honey let me give you the note so we got coconut lemon violet black pepper sandalwood vanilla amber and musk honey now I will say this oh whoo, Definitely give you spring, of course. That's why we're, you know, what we're talking about. But, um, and it projects, right? But it doesn't last, like, all day of projecting. And that's why I think it's so good for the spring, because I don't want, 
I mean, some people might want like a heavy fragrance in the spring. Me, not so much. I really try to lean more towards like citrus, the citruses that I like, but lean more towards the lighter, fresh scent fragrances over the spring. That still, you know, definitely gives me like a little bit of floral, but like spring vibes, but a little lighter. I don't, I don't try to put winter in spring and give me heavy fragrances in the winter, but spring keep me light. I do like, um, if now if it is projecting and it still gives me spring vibes, absolutely. Like sign me up, like real quick. But I really try to stick on the lighter side of things. Anyway, this is so good. Highly recommend, told you all I, you know, took this on my trip, decanted it. This is really good, highly recommend. And to me, it doesn't say oud, but there's a slight oudy vibe in this, okay? Um, so is it a blind buy? I like, I mean, I was successful in the blind buy, but um, if you can get a sample, get a sample and see if you really vibe with it, okay? Moving on. Next up, I have, okay, bond number nine, okay? I have actually two bond number nines. This is Madison Avenue and this is Astro Place. So, two beauties. Highly recommend for the spring. Okay, let's talk about this one. This one, now, if you like a rose fragrance, okay, this is going to be your jam because this gives you a rose note, okay? So notes, we have apple, blackberry, bergamot, mineral notes, we have rose, magnolia, we have jasmine, patchouli, praline, and ambroxan. So this is really good. Um, if you like rose, I would say it's a blind buy worthy type of thing. I would say this is kind of crowd pleasing. So. Probably more people would like something like this. So I would say, yeah, blind buy, sure. But definitely like a rose scent. If you don't like rose, eh, get a sample. But this is really good. Highly recommend this for the spring, okay? This is this is Miss Popular, okay? Um, in my eyes, she's Miss Popular. I see a lot of content creators talk about her, so she that truth, okay? Moving on. Now, Aster Place is a flory, floral woody type of fragrance, okay? Now, this is going to run you. I didn't tell you about Madison Avenue. Madison Avenue um, normally runs about $275, but I didn't pay that. Okay, I didn't pay that. I went on Joma Shop and they had a deal and they normally have a lot of bond number nine deals. So keep a lookout. They just had a bond number nine. I don't know if it's going to stay up until the Monday, you know, until when you see this video. Good. They stay having a sale on bond number nine. They like, get rid of me about my bond number nine. Anyway, I got this for, I think it was like 125 Say what? Yeah, they be having, they be having deals. Um, but, uh, Aster Place is what we were talking about. This pricing is about four twenty. I would, but the way my bank account is set up, the thing is, I got a checking in the savings, but all the money is in my savings, so I got to switch it to my checking. But it's gonna take three business days. I don't, I don't think it's gonna go through. On um, Neiman Marcus, so this is a pricier fragrance, but also look out for this on Joma Shop because they might have a better deal for you. Okay, so just look out for the deals because again, even though it's niche, somebody gonna be like, take this bottle out of my hand. I want somebody to have this and I want them to have it at a better price. Sign me up. Like it doesn't discredit, like it's, it's the real thing. It's just a lesser price. So you don't have to always like pay 400 somebody if you, if you find a deal sis. Get the deal, okay? Who checking you? Get the deal. Anyway. Okay, why did I spray that wrong? Okay, let me pay attention to what I'm doing. Okay, let me spray it right now. Um, but Aster Place, honey, so good. So good, highly recommend. 
this is another uh, mandarin orange in this so another little citrus but this is a good one okay so look like i don't i don't just always dislike all citrus but the ones that smell a little different i don't i don't like them okay but this has top notes violet leaf mandarin orange uh, middle notes, we have some freesia, we have some red poppy, we have some musk, we have some tiki wood, amber. This is a good, and this bottle, this packaging, she's cute. I'm sorry, she's pretty. I love a good color, okay? Really good. Moving on. Next up, we have Mango Skin, and this is from Van Helm Perfumery, okay? This, to me, I've talked about this last year. I'm going to talk about this this year. And I'm probably going to talk about her next year. Hopefully next year, maybe I can just really put a good dent in it. That is what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to really try to work on my dent, uh, my, my dent execution this year. That That's what's going to be on my wish list. I'm going to put dents on my wish list. Because I need me to really, like... You don't have to jump every day. Maybe jump every other day or every third day. Like, tell me how y'all putting dents in y'all fragrances. Because it's, it's been really hard. And it's not that I don't put fragrance on my body every day. Even when I'm working from home. But it is very hard. Y'all don't care and didn't come for all that. Okay, about uh, mango skin. Get it. That's all I can say about this. If you like a mango note, if you like a fruity note, if you love like a, a nice sugar fruit, realistic mango juicy fragrance, get this. Like, I don't know why everybody don't have this, but this needs to absolutely be on your list. Like, uh, look at my eyes. Absolutely need to be on your list. Like, this is so good. Oh, this is so good. Now, this is about $2.45, you know, it's it, it a little coin, okay? But just, just just combinate the coins together, and this needs to be on your wish list. Or somebody else can gift it to you. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, my, my wink is off. But this is really good family. Like mango skin, this is my jam. And it, it, it don't, he like, really is it your jam? It really is my jam. But I, I'm just going to wear it more. Um. Because, again, she a pretty pendy, and um, I don't want to use her all up uh, just, to, just to save out the pen, okay? And it got magnetic top, and um, it, it, packaging, I mean, it's simple. What, what, what am I to say about packaging? It, it's the juice, okay? And last, but certainly not least, I have an honorable mention, um, because I just did not know if this was niche or designer. Then let me know, because I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. I didn't know. But they're a clean brand. And so I was assuming, which you shouldn't assume. But when I was researching, it looked like it was niche. It said niche. So I'm going to go with it. But Ness, um, the Sun Kiss Hibiscus. If you like coconut, get this. This is beautiful. Highly recommend. Oh, my gosh. Get this, okay? And then the Lotus Pear, the Seven Virtues. This was out last year. If you like a pear note, mm -hmm, get it. D this and this, they're must-haves. If you don't have them, add them, okay? Now, these are clean fragrances, so they're not going to be beast mode or last all types of long. But if you work from home, but if you have one an easy breezy day, quick grab and go. Honey, get this, okay? Get this. Add this to your collection. Add this to your wardrobe. Because you're going you gonna to need this. These are bomb.com. Okay. Pricing, this is about $86. Mm -hmm. I, I, I already said you. Are you out the door now? Go get it, okay? $86. And this one is $88. Mm-hmm. Brutiful, okay? Brutiful. Um, this one has, uh, if you want to know the notes, I mean, it has coconut, French apparently, got some tuberose in here, some some orange blossom, and then this one, we got some pear, we got some peach, we got some lotus, jasmine, orange blossom. These are brutiful, okay? Love them, love them. They're probably like one of my favorite clean brand 
fragrances that I have, especially for the spring. Like, I love these, okay? Moving on. Well, that is all. That is all for my niche recommendations for the spring. Let me know what are some of the niche fragrances that you like to wear for the spring. I would love to know. Again, I am just getting into niche. I would love to know your thoughts, what you've been wearing, what you recommend for your sis. Because if I can get it and dabble in it, I want to dabble in it. I want... Okay, so just subscribe, give me the thumbs up, comment down below. We'd love to get to know you and meet you. And hey, family, hey, make sure that you are good to yourself. Give yourself some grace. And if no one has told you that you are more than enough, <coughs> <coughs> yo, sis just did. <laughs> Bye, family. I love you. Bye.